Man, Bill is such a nice guy. He just left this entire arsenal full of stuff for Joel and Ellie to take on their trip with them. Toilet paper. What? The Bible. My toilet paper. I like the thin pages. I can find them everywhere. Maybe instead of wiping your ass with it, you should read it. <laughs> yeah, I read it. Cover to cover. That's why I wipe my ass with it. Well, it is the 2020s. Hey guys, it's Dan, your host, Judy Inch Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for The Last of Us. This one's going to be doing my weekly review for this week's episode of Season 1. This is for the third episode titled Long, Long Time. Alright guys, this one's going to be doing a review today. This one's going to be doing a review for The Last of Us. This one's going to be doing my weekly review for this week's episode. This is for Season 1, Episode 3, titled Long, Long Time. So, uh, another week, another episode of The Last of Us HBO series. Very much have been enjoying this series, as you guys know. And this episode, Continuing Suit, loved this episode. Absolutely loved Episode 3. So, this episode... We get introduced to two characters that were in the game, well, um, kind of, sort of, again, the, these reviews, we don't really talk about the game, we don't really talk about uh, how things go in the game, so we're not really going to spoil anything for uh, any of y'all that were wondering. Uh, these reviews do not can uh, contain any game spoilers whatsoever, so keep that in mind. Um, but uh, anyway, this episode we focus on Bill and we focus on Frank, and we basically focus a little bit on kind of their lives and kind of what goes on with them, and on the flip side, we also get a lot of stuff with Joel and Ellie on the road uh, after the death of, of course, spoiler warning, uh, Tess in episode two. So, um, which of course, if you've heard some of the recent news uh, over the last uh, day or so, unfortunately, the actress for uh, Tess, uh, the actress that played her in the video game, has unfortunately uh, passed away, which is really, really sad. So, um, yeah, we found out about that this week, and then this episode, we actually do get to see some scenes with Tess, uh, which I think is, uh, is you know, kind of cool, because obviously, uh, unfortunately, the actress is no longer no longer here with us. Uh, the one that played her in the game, that is. Uh, the one in the TV show is just fine, but the one in the video game unfortunately passed uh, yesterday. So, anyway... This episode, we get started with Joel and Ellie. They're basically on the road. Uh, I love the scene where Ellie's kind of telling Joel, like, you know, it's not my fault why I'm here, you know, so don't be blaming me, that sort of thing. And anyway, they go through, like, this building. They go through, like, uh, some supplies and stuff. And you got, like, one scene where Ellie kind of goes in, like, this, like, basement or whatever. And, um... You know, she finds, like, this uh, rotting, infected person or whatever, and she puts it out of his misery, right? And it's pretty crazy, too, when she's, like, cutting it, and you can, like, see, like, the insides and stuff. Oh, man. Uh, they really, really uh, show you some nasty stuff in this show, which is uh, really good, right? But anyway, they're kind of just walking along. Uh, they come across this, like, plane crash, which is pretty gruesome to see, and uh, dead bodies just everywhere. And again, the, the scenery with this show is just absolutely amazing, right? But anyway, they're on their way to Bill's, and then, well, then you get the the, the big chunk of the episode, right? We get introduced to Bill, we get introduced to uh, Frank, and basically, Bill uh, was in hiding when the apocalypse first happened, when the world first, you know, kind of uh, went down. And he was, you know, staying in this house, and he was, you know, kind of staying, uh, you know, covered and stuff. And uh, he's got this, like, arsenal of weapons, a whole bunch of food, a whole bunch of stuff that he's, you know, kind of keeping there. And he's managed to keep it afloat for all this time. So as soon as the world kind of goes to hell, he manages to keep this town all to himself, uh, build the fences, build all the stuff, and basically he can live there for a long, long time, right? So, <laughs> given the episode. So, um, yeah, you know, he's able to go around. He goes to, like, every freaking store, and he gets, like, all the things he needs, which is pretty cool. And, uh, well, he's living there for about four years, roughly, and then he runs into a man named Frank that stumbles upon his town and this guy named Frank basically he's starving he's been out there for a while so he invites him in and uh, one thing leads to another and basically at first they're very standoffish but then when it comes to them uh, kind of bonding over like some you know keyboard playing and stuff they end up, um, you know, kind of falling in love, and the episode basically turns into a love story. Basically, it's the two of them, they fall in love, and they live in this place for a very, very long time, and, um, you know, they fight every once in a while, you know, kind of standard couple stuff, uh, but, you know, it's, it's, it's very, uh, it's a very nice story, you know, it's a very, very nice story, and I, I really enjoy uh, a lot of what they did with these two, because, again, none of this we saw in the game, you know, this is something completely show original, uh, and again, I'm not going to say what they do in the game, but those that have played the game, you'll know that this is massively different, they actually added a lot 
of emotion and a lot of really amazing stuff here with these two. But anyway, basically, uh, you know, they kind of end up staying here for many, many years. And during the, uh, you know, 20 years that they were living here together, uh, about halfway through roughly the time skip, I think it's 2010, uh, Joel and Tess did meet Bill and Frank. And Frank wanted to be kind of friends with them, but Bill was very standoffish, you know. And even Joel was kind of like, look, dude, can you get that gun out of my face? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a very uh, interesting interaction. But we show a little bit of how they met. We also see Tess for one more time, which I'm assuming that's going to be the last time we see Tess uh, on the show. But still, that was really cool. And anyway, they go their separate ways. And that's how Joel and Tess met uh, Bill and Frank. So that was cool to get that backstory. Again, nothing that we ever got uh, in the video game. So again, a lot of really cool things kind of added to it. But Anyway, um, we then see basically, now Joel kind of warned Bill that this place is kind of dangerous in a way where raiders will come in and try to take what you have, and we get to see exactly that. Uh, Bill even ends up getting shot at one point, and you know, they kind of fight off these people that are trying to get in. They do win, ultimately, but Bill pretty much uh, almost dies as a result, which is pretty intense. Um, and then we skip a good more few years into 2023. We see that Bill is older, we see that Frank is older, and Frank, uh, from what I can tell, has cancer answer so he's not going to make it and um you know he's in a wheelchair now and stuff like that and they're they're getting old basically right and it's one of those stories and you know we've seen this a lot in entertainment but again I really enjoyed the way they did it it's kind of like a thing where it's like you know one person grows old and then the other you know a significant other also dies with them and this is kind of what you see in this episode right is like you know he knows that he only has like one day left or so so he says let's get married let's have the best day of our lives and uh, let's live life to you know its fullest and then you know when we're eating and when we're having a good time you take these pills you crush them in my wine and I'll die and that'll be it you know but but there's a bit of a, a plot twist to this one, and it got really sad. I'm not going to lie, around this time, it really, really did. Uh, Bill ends up uh, going with him, so he ends up uh, dying as well, and they both die together, and they both, um, you know, just end up dying. That's that's basically how it ends, you know, no pain, no nothing like that. Uh, they die in their sleep, but uh, that's what ends up happening to both of them. Bill decides to take his life uh, with him, right, which is pretty sad. So... Joel and Ellie then show up later on in the episode, and of course, uh, you know, they find the notes, and they find the keys to the vehicle that Bill gives to Joel to help them on their mission, right? And it's pretty crazy. Uh, they end up, of course, uh, you know, kind of stocking up. They take, you know, weapons and a whole bunch of stuff. They end up showering as well, too. Like, Joel takes a shower, and you got, like, Ellie, who's like, oh, very, very nice, you know? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Ellie, again, continues to be really awesome. Love Ellie in the TV show. And, uh, anyway, Joel and Ellie take off. Uh, this is, like, the first time that Ellie's ever been in a vehicle, so she's, like, freaking out and stuff, you know? And, um, yeah, it's, it's very cool. Uh, they played the same song that was played earlier on in the episode, and uh, as they kind of drive off and go on their uh, on their mission, right? And they take the vehicle that Bill gave them, which is really, really cool that he gave the, uh, the keys to, right? So, yeah, really awesome stuff. So, this episode, uh, in terms of, you know, what I would say about it, I mean, I think this was a great episode. I don't know if I love it as much as the pilot or maybe even the second episode, but I really enjoyed it. It was a really good episode. It's a nice kind of character episode. Uh, one of the biggest things that I was shocked about is that Bill was was dead, that he died too. You know, that was uh, something that I really didn't expect him to do in the show. Um, but, uh, you know, I thought it was good. The actor did a fantastic job. Uh, well, the actors, right? Uh, Frank as well too. And I don't really have anything wrong with the episode. So I think the only right thing to do is to give it a you know a ten out of ten. Uh, I loved it. I had no issues with it. I loved the storytelling. Um, it actually got very emotional for me in the later part of the episode. It was actually really sad. And um, I'll say that it was very well done. You know, and I'm sure this is one of the things that a lot of people are gonna say. And again, I I I'm gonna dance around this because this is a bit of a sensitive topic. But um, you know, a lot of times when you see things in TV shows and when people see you know gay couples and stuff, a lot of people always have something nasty to say, right? And um, at least to me, when I was watching this episode, you know, I thought it was well handled. I thought it was well done. Um, it was something that I thought was, uh, you know, treated well, and I, I think they did a good job with it. You know, I'm seeing a lot of people online that are complaining. It's like, oh, it was a, this whole episode was like a gay thing or whatever, and I'm like, 
so what? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that to me, it's just two people in the apocalypse that found each other that love each other. So I don't know for those people out there that want to insult the episode because of a gay couple. Well, again, that's uh, their problem. I thought this was a fantastic episode and I, uh, I loved it. I thought it was really good. The love story was great. Joel and Ellie continue to be awesome. And it was a great addition to the TV show that we didn't get in the game because we're getting a lot of episodes. So we're able to get an episode like this on Bill and on Frank and uh, I enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. So anyway, Anyway, if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos for The Last of Us. Make sure to follow me on Dan's The Walking Dead reviews on Instagram, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys really soon for more videos for The Last of Us. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out.